Hello. I went through my old Instagram posts last week and I realized there is something I haven't been doing in a long time. And that is to take pictures of architecture. Sure, I've taken some pictures of buildings here and there in LA, but I feel like I'm always taking those pictures of buildings with people in them and the people being the main focus. But I cannot remember the last time I took pictures of buildings or architecture in general and thought, that's a good looking picture. I've been feeling like I need to add a car or a person in my picture in order to make it a little more interesting. When in reality, that's not always the case. And believe it or not, Los Angeles has great architecture. We can even start with some classics. There is the Style House, the Eames House, Neutra VDL, and the list goes on. Because I do live very close to a lot of the architectural gems, I decided to start with something that I'm more familiar with, aka the Broad and the Walt Disney Concert Hall. Yes, I did photograph the Broad in my last video, but I was focusing more on the interior aspect of it. If you have never been to the Broad, or you've been there but are not too familiar with the architecture, there are two main components to it. Number one being the veil, and the second one being the vault. Now, I'm not gonna go into details of what those two things are. I'll link a website and the video in my description, but that's something I wanted to highlight here. The exterior, you're able to see the veil very clearly. And when we head inside, we see the vault. I'm not sure it's because I've been wanting to try a new recipe or because the settings I had were a little too warm. I thought black and white looked so much better. You're able to see more depth, more light. And compared to the colored one, this black and white version tends to have this some sort of a dark feeling you do not get from the colored version. I go to the Walt Disney Concert Hall quite often, but I've only photographed it once. I don't even know if I included the photos from last year, but every time I go, I leave the place feeling, I think I could have taken more pictures. Was it any better this time? Not really. When people walk by this building by Frank Gehry, I think this is the shot that most people get. I have yet to see a good picture of the exterior of this hall. I mean, what is this? What did I- oh. Every time I come here, I hope for a good reflection shot. But every time I stand there with the camera, people either stop and wait for me to finish taking my pictures, or they go around it and come from the other side. But honestly, after looking at my own weird selfie, I don't know if this would be a good reflection shot, especially of a person. Something else I wanted to photograph was the Peterson Automotive Museum. The rain didn't bother me. It was more the construction that's happening on the other side, on the main street, that really got in the way of executing my ideas. I know I could have gotten the shot I wanted if I really wanted to, but I think I was just a little disappointed when I got there and saw the construction site. So that didn't really motivate me to take the pictures I really wanted. Speaking of architecture, I thought about sculptures as well. And because of all the red from the Peterson Museum, I thought, why not combine both of those things and photograph this? 
This was my first time actually coming here. I passed this to go to the library all the time, but I never stopped by to look at it. This picture, I was not ready for it. This guy was just walking there and it was perfect. The dark background, the red accents, and having a person in the middle wearing something light, I thought that was a really good extra element that I look for my photos. Although in the beginning I did say these extra elements are not always necessary. What can I say? I'm a creature of habit. Also, side note, I think this specific recipe works so well when it's a little gloomy, a little rainy, especially around sunset. Just look at the way that the reds are popping. They look delicious. <laughs> 